ஸ்மைலிங் she curiously asked lord varaham how does the process of creation begin in the beginning of each kalpa what is dissolution how do you nurture the whole creation in what order do all the four yugas occur and how are they calculated why do you take incarnation in each yuga all these things puzzle me a lot and i request you to enlighten me on all these subjects Lord Vishnu burst into laughter and the whole universe including the deities became visible to Prithvi through his open mouth Prithvi became so frightened by his amazing sight that she started to tremble in fear Lord Vishnu then transformed his appearance and revealed his divine form to Prithvi so that she could become free from her fright and prithvi saw the divine form of lord vishnu who was in his meditative sleep taking rest on sheshnag all her fear vanished she was extremely pleased to see the divine appearance of lord vishnu and thanked her good fortune prithvi filled with extreme devotion eulogized lord vishnu lord vishnu was extremely pleased by her eulogy and said the answers to the questions you have asked are not easy to understand but still i shall try to satisfy your curiosity the supreme almighty is eternal in the beginning of creation ego ahamkara as well as the five basic elements space water earth air and fire manifest themselves from the supreme almighty subsequently the great element mahatya tatva nature and collective consciousness manifest themselves the collective consciousness then combines with each of the three basic qualities sattva pure rajas and tamas dark and exists in three different states its combination with the dark quality results into the manifestation of mahabrahma which is also called prakriti or nature by the enlightened ones Kshetrajya soul is considered to be more superior than the prakriti this way the different permutations and combinations of all the three gunas with collective intelligence result into the creation of different tanamantras from the tanamantras are created the indriyas or sense organs this is the way how the universe comes into existence i then create all the living creatures with the help of five basic elements in the beginning there was nothing but empty space subsequently various natural elements like shabda akasha vayu teja and jal came into being respectively each of the later manifesting from the former then i created you earth to provide base to all the living creatures the combination of earth and water resulted into an egg anda as the egg grew in size i manifested myself as a narayana within it during each kalpa a lotus manifests itself from my navel upon which is seated lord brahma i then request lord brahma to commence creation in spite of all his efforts lord brahma does not succeed in commencing his creation as a result he becomes furious and from his fury manifests a divine child who starts to wail insistently the divine child is none other than rudra who is requested by lord brahma 
to begin creation but the child being incapable of doing that decides to acquire power by doing penance and enters into deep water lord brahma then created prajapati from his great toe of his right foot and prajapati concert from the great toe of his left foot the manifestation of prajapati and his concerts marks the beginning of copulative creation and thus swayam who manu is born in the course of time the population increased this is the way how creation takes place in each kalpa mother earth requested lord varaha to shed some more light on the creational process as her curiosity had still not been totally satisfied lord varaha replied at the end of the last kalpa when the whole universe was engulfed in darkness narayana went into the yogic sleep after waking up he found the world devoid of any creator narayana being the supreme almighty the creator the nurturer as well as the annihilator decided to commence creation the term narayana means one who has his abode in the water nara means water and ayana means abode first of all five types of avidya false knowledge manifested from narayana tamas darkness moha attachment maha moha absolute attachment tamisara jealousy and andha tamisara anger after the manifestation of these five avidyas came into existence immovable things like mountains trees these being the primary creations came to be known as mukhya sarga main creation continuing with his creation lord brahma created species that were superior to the earlier creation animals this particular creation was called tiriya krosta quadruped this way brahma did his creation brahma sixth creation was called satvika sarga which consisted of the deities who were all virtuous by nature the creation of human beings was seventh in order and was known as arvakostra sarga even human beings were of three types those who were predominantly virtuous possessed sattva guna had radiant personality and never experienced sorrow but those who possessed rajas and tamas gunas experienced sorrows brahma's eighth creation was called anugraha sarga in which he created the sages and the hermits for the benediction of the world the ninth creation of lord brahma was called kaumara sarga creation of adolescent being so the, these are the nine main types of creation through which brahma created first of all all rudras and other deities manifested themselves and then came into being eternal adolescents like sanaka sanananda subsequently all the 10 manis manas saputras of brahma manifested themselves marichi angira atri pulaha kratu pulasya prachetta bhrigu narada and vasistha lord brahma's first creation rudra had manifested himself as ardha narishwara half male and half female at the request of brahma rudra dismembered his female part resulting into the creation of two distinct forms one male and other female later on ten more rudras manifested from the male form and all of them collectively came to be known as 11 rudras priyavrata attains to heavenly abode describing the incident which enabled king priyavrata to attain to heavenly abode lord varaha told prithvi swayambhu manu lived during the first kalpa he had two sons priyavrata and uttanapada priyavrata was extremely virtuous by nature in course of time he relinquished his throne and after distributing his kingdom among his sons went to badrika ashram to do penance one sage narada paid a visit to his hermitage 
Priyamrata received his esteemed guest with all the respect which made Narada extremely pleased. Priyamrata then requested Narada to narrate about some interesting incident which had occurred in his life. Narada narrated about an interesting incident which had happened while he was on his way to meet Priyamrata. I experienced an amazing incident yesterday while I was passing by a lake in Swetadvipa. I saw a divinely beautiful woman who was standing alone at the bank of that lake. I was surprised to find such a beautiful woman at such a lonely place. For a moment I became so infatuated by her beauty that I lost all control over my senses. My lust had made me devoid of all my knowledge and learning. Now I became very worried and ashamed of my conduct, but the damage had already been made. I immediately realized that she was not an ordinary woman. To my surprise, I saw a form of a divine person visible clearly within her body. Within next few moments, two other male forms revealed themselves. Suddenly, all three of them disappeared, leaving behind just that divine lady. I was drumstuck by his amazing incident. I asked her as to who she was. The divine lady disclosed to me that she was none other than Goddess Savitri, the mother of all the Vedas, and since I was unable to recognize her, therefore all the knowledge had vanished from my memory. She also revealed to me that the three divine men which had manifested themselves within her body were in fact the three Vedas, Rig Veda, Sama Veda and Ajur Veda. After revealing these amazing facts to me, Goddess Savitri assured me that by taking a bath in that lake, I would not only regain my memory of the Vedas, but also of all my previous births. I realized God Savitri and thanked her for the blessing showered on me. I then bathed in that lake and to my pleasant surprise, I know, now remembered everything of my past births as had been prophesied by God Savitri. Premprata was very surprised and requested Narada to describe some interesting incident related with his past birth. Narada Narada narrated the following incident to him. In Satya Yuga, I was born in a Brahmin family and was named Saraswat by my parents. I was very studious and grew up to become a renowned scholar. The Almighty God had blessed me with immense riches and I never experienced scarcity of any kind in my life. But very soon I got bored of my monotonous and routine life. It had become clear to me that there was more to life than just worrying about the gains and losses. So I decided to do penance to attain salvation. I distributed all my wealth among my sons and went to the bank of river Saraswati, where I just performed the rituals of Shraddha in the name of my ancestors and then performed yajnas. I also donated a lot of wealth to poor people. Being satisfied, I then went to Pushkar Tirth and did penance at the bank of, of river Saraswati by continuously chanting the sacred mantra, Om Namo Narayana and Brahma Parastotram. Ultimately, Lord Narayana became pleased and appeared before me. Lord Sri Hari asked me of my wish and I expressed my desire to get united with his divine form. But Lord Narayana told me that the world needed me and so this desire of mine could not be fulfilled. He blessed me and gave me my name Narada because I had donated water, Nara, to my ancestors during the course of performing Shraddha rituals. Although my wish of uniting with the divine form of Sri Hari 
had remained unfulfilled but still there was a consolation as i had been fortunate enough to see his divine form with my mortal eyes thereafter i devoted my life to the worship of shri hari after my death i attained to brahmalok i had been adequately rewarded for my devotion towards lord hari later on i manifested as one of the 10 manas putras of lord brahma when he commenced his creation it was only because of the blessings of sri hari that i came to be regarded as lok guru by the masses so priyam brata if you are desire of attaining salvation then you should follow my example and devote your life in the name of lord sri hari prithvi who was listening to the tales narrated by lord varaha with rapt attention asked him whether it was possible for anybody to see lord narayana with his or her mortal eyes lord varaha replied lord narayana has taken turn in carnation in various forms as a such as matsya fish kachap tatais varaha bor narhimsimha half human and half lion vamana dwarf parshurama rama krishna buddha and kalki the last incarnation kalki is at to take place a man can realize lord narayana by having total devotion in any one of the 10 incarnation even the deities are incapable of this divine experience what to say about humans lord brahma is the manifestation of all the three qualities of shri hari and actually it is he shri hari who creates in the form of lord brahma it is he who manifests himself in various natural forms like earth water fire air and sky it is he who manifests himself in various abstract qualities like consciousness he is omnipresent and the whole universe is pervaded by him prithvi was anxious to know whether narada sermons had any effect on priyam pratha and asked lord varaha regarding this lord varaha replied priyam pratha was so impressed by narada's discourses that he relinquished his throne and went to do penance after equally distributing his kingdom among his sons ultimately he did manage to attain to the abode of lord sri hari by the virtue of his total devotion